Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Thanks for stopping by again. Okay, Charlie, let's get to work right there. Rationalize the denominator. That don't get scared. Notice, in our denominator, we have a sum that involves a radical. So in order to rationalize that denominator, we must use the conjugate method, which means we need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of that denominator, 4 plus square root of 10. Now, Charlie, what is the conjugate of 4 plus the square root of 10? 4 subtract square root of 10. Very nice. So we'll multiply both the numerator and denominator by that conjugate. Now, in the numerator, we must distribute. Charlie, what's square root of 2 times 4? 4 square root of 2. That's right. Now, bring down your subtraction. What's square root of 2 times square root of 10? Square root of 20. Very nice there. Now remember, when you multiply conjugates together, you end up with a difference of two squares. So Charlie, what's our first square? Four squared, and that's right. Then we have a subtraction. What's our second square? Square root of 10 squared. That's right. Okay, let's move our work up there. Now notice, we have four square roots of two subtract square root of 20. But square root of 20 can be simplified because 20 can be broken up into factors that involve a perfect square. What are those factors, Charlie? 4 and 5. That's right. Remember, square root of 4 is 2. Now, in the denominator, we'll go ahead and square our quantities. Charlie, what's 4 squared? 16. That's right. And now, what's square root of 10 squared? 10. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, let's bring down our work. We have 4 square roots of 2 subtract. What's the square root of 4, Charlie? 2. Okay, we'll bring that out. And don't forget, we still have to multiply by square root of 5. Our denominator is 16 subtract 10, which is 6. Now, we're not done. Because that numerator there has a greatest common factor. Now, Charlie, what is the greatest common factor of that numerator? 2? That's right. And now when you factor out the 2, you're left with 2 square roots of 2 subtract square root of 5. Let's bring down the 6, and now we're still not done, because we can reduce the 2 and the 6. And so let's write our final answer over there. Notice the 2 and the 6 cancel, that reduces to 1 over 3, and so our numerator is 2 square roots of 2, subtract square root of 5, over 3. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. Now that was a good problem. We'll see you all again soon.